Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to store wine. So if this is your first time coming to this channel, really quick, just so you know who I am, I am a WSET level three wine expert, and I also happen to be a fitness expert as well. So I'm not your typical fitness coach in that I have people count their macros like crazy and diet really hard. I help people lose weight and get in shape while enjoying things like food and wine. And then on the flip side, I'm also not your typical wine expert in that I like to take the complexity out of wine and really simplify it so that it's easier for you to understand, easier for you to discover the wines that you like. So I made a post the other day on Instagram about four bottles of wine, which are these right here, and I'll show you these in a minute, that I had gotten from Wink, which is a monthly wine subscription. And I got a lot of people responding, asking me, hey, how do I store my wine? I have this great red wine from three years ago, but I don't have a wine cooler. Can I keep it in the fridge? Should I keep it in my kitchen, garage? Where should I put it? So the main things to know about storing red wine is if you do not have a wine fridge or wine cellar like most people, you actually do want to put your wine in the fridge or you can put it somewhere that is cool and dark. So for people like myself, I live in Florida, Clearwater, Florida, it's very hot. So room temperature for me is a lot warmer than 65 degrees. When serving wine and keeping red wine and they tell you to serve and keep at room temperature, that's with the assumption that your room temperature is around 65 degrees, which is not typical in most places that we live. So. If you live in a cool place, you can leave it in your kitchen underneath a cabinet or in cabinets so that it's dark because the less light, the more you preserve the wine. So you can put it into storage in a dark closet or someplace that you know is not gonna get a lot of light into it. Also, with red wine, because people always ask, if I put my red wine in the fridge, isn't that too cold to drink it? Yes. But what I like to do is you can pull out your red wine about 30 minutes to an hour before you know that you're gonna drink it and let it warm up to room temperature and then serve it. Really, the idea behind keeping wine cold or in a fridge is that the coolness is what preserves the fruit and the freshness in the wine. So, perfect example, and I actually brought this one out. So this is Justin Isosceles, this is one of my favorite red wines. I really just love the vineyards themselves. But so when I was living in California, I had this wine out there and I put it in my car coming back. So it was exposed to a lot of heat. Now we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to open this for you so you can understand. By the way, the way that you're supposed to open a wine bottle professionally is right underneath the lip here. A lot of people just stick the cork in and pull it out right underneath the lip because if not, you risk the opportunity of getting foil or any kind of sediment into the bottle. You're also not supposed to do it like I'm doing of holding it this way, but that's okay. Anyways, what I was saying was I shipped it. I shipped it in my car, so not really. But when I did that, it was in a lot of heat. You know, I was staying at hotels. I was not able to take the car, the wine out and put it in a cool place. So what happened, if you can see it in this, so this is a good fresh bottle of wine right here. You see how this cork is slightly raised? That means that heat has gotten to it and that pressure from the heat is pushing the cork out. So, so what happens with the wine, if it is in heat for too long, it, and like I was explaining like with this Justin one, I went ahead and opened it so I could show you guys. Remember this one was nice and flush and this one was slightly raised, is if your wine gets hotter than about 85 degrees Fahrenheit, what happens is it starts to cook the wine. So if you think of just like when you cook something on the stove and it gets hotter, and say you have a lid on it, what happens? It starts to bubble, steam starts coming out, there's pressure, same thing happens to your wine. So that's what pushes the cork up, is heat is getting into the bottle, it's cooking the wine, and that heat is creating the pressure that pushes the cork up. Now, looking at this, I pulled this out. The other thing is when it gets that hot and you haven't put your wine in a cool place, 
is you'll start to notice that the fruit, if you do decide to taste the wine, that fruit will just kind of be non-existent. It really just takes out the fresh fruit flavors of it. But then also you're gonna have a really strong scent of alcohol and vinegar and basically all the other components of the wine. So as soon as I opened this, what happened is I didn't even have to pull the cork all the way out and all I smelled was like alcohol and vinegar. I smelled no fruit. And even now, smelling this, like I, I don't even have to taste this to know that it's bad. But you can see, looking at this, how some of the wine started to seep through. This is all from the heat and that pressure, remember? But also you can see that the cork is kind of warped, like it expanded but then right here where it's thin at the top, I'm not sure if the camera will let you see that far. It's like it expanded as far as it could, but then there's the thin part, the original size of it that the heat kind of screwed up. So the other question that I got asked is if my wine was already in the heat, could I put it back in the fridge or in a cool place and that would fix it? And the answer is unfortunately no. Once it's already been cooked and it has reached that high of temperature that it's popping the cork up, the wine's pretty much bad. There's nothing left to preserve because it's already been cooked. So when you're storing red wine, when you're storing white wine, either way, you wanna make sure that you have it in a cool, dark place. You also wanna store it on its side. The reason you store it on its side is because it keeps the cork from drying out, which is really important because if it dries out and you go to open the bottle of wine, it can just crumble. On top of that, you can also risk getting oxygen into it because the cork is not moist and able to preserve the wine anymore. So that's just a quick video I wanted to do really quick because you guys were asking me about, hey, I have this bottle of red wine, I don't have a fridge, how should I store it? That's all you have to do. If you have already had it in heat and you're having an experience like this where the cork has already start to come out the top and this is like a double bad thing, but and you can see some of the wine seeping through the cork, that wine's done because basically what heat does is it literally cooks the wine. So what may have been a really fresh, delicious red wine, all of a sudden it's gonna taste really either vinegary or really jammy and thick and syrupy. So make sure you take care of your wine, put it in the fridge and you'll be good to go. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with workouts and fitness and weight loss, but also so you can get some fun wine education and learn how you can get in great shape while enjoying food and wine. See you in the other videos. Thank you for watching.